Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm usually a, an uh, off-the-cuff speaker. I'm a trial lawyer, you know, so we, we're used to thinking on our feet. Uh, but today I'm going to read a prepared statement for you because it, it's, it's an, important, uh, an important event for myself and my family. Uh, as you know, I, I've dedicated both my personal and professional career to fighting for working people. Uh, I've worked as a proud member of the Labor's Local and was a union organizer. Uh, as an attorney and while serving Western New York, I've always fought for working people. I'm proud of the work that I've accomplished as a lawyer, a union organizer, and a senator. Um, from railing to fully fund our schools this year, to the fight for 15, and to fighting to establish paid family medical leave to support our children and families. Western New York's most valuable natural resources is another thing I fought for in, on Lake Erie, our water resources. I've had the distinct honor of uh, representing the 60th Senate District, and because of all that work, I've brought you today to talk about that. Um, my priority has always been the residents that I serve, and those who know me best will attest that I'm a straight shooter. I like to tell it like it is and, and not equivocate. And oftentimes, it's to my detriment that, 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 I, that I'm a straight shooter. Um, Therefore, I'm announcing today, without any equivocation, that uh, for reasons both personal and professional, I am not seeking re-election to the New York State Senate. Um, as we stand here today, my law partner, Frank Dolce, and Sean Cooney are with me. Um, Frank has been an inspiration. He's been battling cancer for several years. Uh, he's been a pillar of strength. His ability to remain working as hard as the people he represents has been an inspiration to me. He's a positive influence in our office, and uh, what I see the way he interacts with our clients and his family is, is moving. I'm, I'm getting a little emotional talking about it. Um, but because of Frank's ailment, he's not able to do the work that he was able to do before. And as managing partner of being in the state senate, it's put stress on our law practice. And, and that's how I support my family. And I've got two of my three daughters here. One of them was going away to college soon. And so I got to put, put my family first and my law family above the voters of the 60th Senate District and be able to refocus my activity back here at the law firm. There's also the potential ban on outside income. And uh, as I've been asked about that, um, you know, I make outside income. I'm, I'm a lawyer. And if that ban comes, I would not be able to finish my term in the state Senate. There's also been some staff issues in my office, uh, some turnover, and I'm cooperating in that process. And, and that's a part of this decision, but it's really about my family, my partners, and, and that potential ban on outside income. So at this moment, we're at a critical juncture in our state's legislative history. We're on the cusp of passing paid family medical leave. We're on the cusp of passing a $15 minimum wage. And I don't want my issues to stand in the way of this seat being held by a Democrat. Because a Democratic majority is what's going to maintain or push forward a progressive agenda. So this was not a decision I made lightly. I've discussed it with my family, my law partners, friends, advocates around the state over the course of the last few weeks. And I'm comfortable in going forward that it's the best decision for me, my family, my partners, and for the, and for the people of the 60th Senate District. Me getting out of the way now enables the party to coalesce behind a candidate who can hold this seat and win the seat. Uh, I took the endorsement of the Democrat. That is a live picture from the offices of New York State Senator Mark Panapinto, where he just announced for personal and professional reasons that he will not be seeking re-election for the 60th Senate District. Yeah, he got quite emotional as he was addressing the media and the public. He says that his partner at their law firm, Frank Dolce, he's been battling cancer, and for those reasons, Frank has not been able to continue with that work. So that's part of the reason why uh, he is deciding to not run for re-election. Also, he addressed some staff issues in his office. He did say this is not a decision that he has made lightly. Once again, New York State Senator Mark Penapinto has announced for personal and professional reasons he will not be seeking re-election for the 60th Senate District. Our Hannah Bueller is there live on scene. We'll bring us updates throughout the evening here on 7 Eyewitness News at 5.